So uh, we're going to be talking about anatomy and embryology. And the, um, what I've done this year, a little different from in the past, is uh, I'm trying to go back and forth between the two. So rather than give all embryology and then all anatomy, uh, I've, I've tried to uh, put them together. Uh, I have no uh, conflicts. And uh, these are some of the things that I hope to accomplish. So I want you to be able to describe the embryology of the normal heart and vessels. And um, along those lines, uh, while uh, there's very little information on embryology of abnormal hearts. Um, despite that, the uh, board exam always asks questions about that. So all I can say is you have to do your best. Um, but the, the actual information is about embryology is almost all about normal embryology. So when I talk about this lesion came from this, this is all presumption. And uh, that's about all anyone has. Uh, there are certainly abnormal hearts that are created by knockouts and, and so on, but that doesn't mean that that's actually uh, how they came about. And most of the research in that area is looking at the, um, at, at the chemistry of, uh, of those abnormalities and not necessarily at how a particular lesion comes about in terms of uh, anatomy. But I think some of the things are logical and I will try to point those out. Um, you certainly want to be able to recognize normal cardiac anatomy and to be able to categorize at least the most common anatomical abnormalities. So uh, when we think about the embryology uh, of the heart, there are certain critical periods that, um, that we know, at least in the normal, that this is when these structures uh, are, uh, are developing. Part of it is from uh, work in animals, uh, uh, mice, for example, and part of it is from normal human embryos. So, uh, so there is extensive literature on those. And um, as you probably know, the heart is really the first functioning organ to form in the uh, developing embryo. Uh, and actually the first to, to start working. But you can see that the uh, period of cardiogenesis covers uh, a lot of territory and there are a lot of things going on at the same time. So uh, it's, it's very hard to give you a longitudinal uh, description of normal cardiac embryology. So we're going to go back and forth a little bit as we talk about this is how this develops and then back to uh, an earlier time, this is how this develops and so on. Uh, but you can see that the, uh, the heart starts developing um, 16 or, or so days, depending upon what you call the heart, uh, post-ovulation. And most of, the, uh, most of cardiogenesis is finished by about seven weeks, uh, but th there are some uh, structures that are still developing out to probably eight weeks.